Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to add a custom login registration page to your WordPress site. Um, any site you want, you can you can add a custom login page to it. Um, I was surfing the web for a long time trying to find uh, a nice plugin for this this option, and uh, I just feel that it makes your site look nicer. And especially if you can have a login page that. Uh, has the same style as your theme it really uh, makes your site look professional and uh, I think it makes it more user friendly and people will want to join your site more so first thing you're going to want to do is click on or open up a new tab and go to Google And type in A5 login. And the first page you, see, you should see this uh, WordPress A5 custom login page. Go ahead and click on that. And download uh, the zip file right here. And once you've downloaded the zip file, you're going to want to go to your site. Okay. Um, Actually, you should open up a new tab and get your login page on that page. That way, uh, you can have your dashboard in one tab and your login page in the other. This way, you can click back and forth and refresh the login page to see the changes you've made on it. But anyways, we're in the dashboard right now. I got my dashboard right here, and then I have my login page right here. And close that other tab out, since you already downloaded the zip file. So we're going to go back to the admin panel and just scroll down to uh, plugins, add new plugin. And click on upload. And go ahead and search for it in your files. And I got it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. Now that we've installed it, just go ahead and activate it. Under appearance, you'll see A5 custom login page. Go ahead and click on that. And the first thing we're going to be dealing with is the body of the uh, login page. And you'll see right here it says logo URL. So if you've previously made a logo for your website, you're going to want to add it to your media. Uh, click on media and add new and then um, upload your image but I already have my image uploaded so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it and there it is right there um, and you can edit your image it's it's a good rule of thumb to make your image bigger when you originally have it made that way um, you know if you want to put it on the side of your vehicle or if you want to put it on a t-shirt uh, you can have a much bigger image uh, without the logo being pixelated and it'll be sharper that way. Uh, I'm going to actually restore the original image size. And I use this tool called Jing. I'm basically just going to see how big the, the form box is. Okay, so we'll just say. 305 pixels wide. So I'm going to scale this image to 305 pixels wide. And um, go ahead and update. And as you can see, it's updated. The dimensions right here will show up um, as you updated it. And right here in the file URL, you're just going to steal that URL right there. Scroll back down to Appearance, A5 Custom Login Page, and in the top, Login URL, just go ahead and add the, the file URL, and you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and select Save Changes. And you can see right here on our login page, just as a regular WordPress um, logo, and we're going to press Refresh, Refresh, excuse me. 
And there is our logo right there. Now we're going to go back. We've got a lot of customizing to do. I'm going to go ahead and change the background color. All right, let's see. Um, you can give it a title, your logo. For this, it would be Marketing Den. You can give it a URL right here if you want. That depends on if you want your visitors to click on it and go somewhere. I'm not going to give it a link because I don't want it to go anywhere. I just want them to enter their details in the box and then submit it. All right, position and size of the logo. You can choose to uh, position your logo to whichever side you want, up and down, left and right. And the style of the logo, you can mess with that a little bit. You can add a background picture if you prefer. I'm just going to do a color because it's simple and it's easy. I'm just going to scroll down here and mess with this color picker. Get a little bit a, a gray color. Update that and go back over to your page and then refresh. And as you can see, it's darker. Um, all right, now we're going to go back. Uh, that might be a little too dark. I'm going to brighten it up just a hair. All right, now scroll to the top and click on Login Container. You can add an image to that. Let's see, let's just uh, mess with the color to see what it would be. I'm just going to see what exactly part of the container this is. Okay. Yeah, see, you don't really want to mess with that setting too much. I don't even not really understand it, but I guess if you wanted to make your login form look longer, you could, you could mess with that option, but I'm not going to mess with it. So... I'm going to just go ahead and delete it and it'll be back to default. Okay. And then we're just going to, if you want to mess with that, you can. I'm going to go to login form, the actual form itself. Alright, and I'm going to mess with the background color here. Just to give you an idea what you can do with it. See, I darkened it up. That looks pretty good. I would like an image though, so I'm going to go to Google Images. Find an image that'll fit in the login container really nice. I'm just going to put gray background. No, I spelled that wrong, but whatever. It pulled it up anyways. It's the beauty of Google. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. I want something kind of eye popping, something cool. Let's try this. Alright, so you got this image. You can just right click and save image as whatever you want to save it as. Now that we have our image, we can go back here and we're going to be adding it to the form right here. Now, make sure you saved all your changes. And we're going to go to media again and upload another image. Select files. And find your image. All right, this was a really big image, so we're gonna go to edit it. We're gonna edit it. I mean, and as you can see, it's 1440 wide by 90 long. And we're gonna just we're gonna edit this image and make it smaller. The uh, plugin will automatically adjust the uh, size of the image to fit inside the container, but just for loading purposes, I'm going to shrink it down to, let's say, 600. And then go ahead and update. 
and as you can see the dimensions are changed grab that URL scroll back down to appearance a5 custom login and it, it automatically sets a cookie so we're, we're right where we left off and you can go ahead and drop that URL right there the image URL we don't need that color anymore get rid of that and let's go save changes and then refresh this page sorry for some reason it's loading a little slow right now And as you can see, we got a nice little uh, texture in there. Gives it a good feel. All right, now what other settings do we want to mess with in here? Uh, the text color. We'll want to make that probably white since we're using a dark background. Mm. Border color. Let's see what our what it looks like again. Okay. We'll give it a gray color. And then you can select the, the pixels of the border here. Oh, okay. Border style. I'm just going to do a solid. And the, you can set the, the width of the, the border. We'll do like six. Let's go see what that looks like. Save it and then go back and refresh. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll just keep it like that. That's nice and simple. Everything's easy to read. The um, the text is white. We'll have to change this text down here. Um, we're still going to change this uh, notification box at the top. So I believe we're done with that page. We'll go to the buttons and go ahead and add your your button color. I already know mine by heart. And the text color, let's do white. Border color, we'll do black. Hover background color. Let's see here. I normally just type in the same code for the image above, and then I'll just brighten it up a little bit. So when people click on it or hover over it, it'll it'll they'll know that they're hovering over it and it'll be brighter. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Hover text color, we'll probably want that white as well. We don't want the text to change. And go ahead and save the changes and go back over and refresh your page. And as you can see, when we scroll over, we got a nice bright red glow to it. That's really nice and professional looking. And we're going to go ahead and go to message and input fields. Text color. Let's make that. Uh, let's actually make it black. The background color. Uh, I'm going to do a light, light red. Border color. I'm going to do that dark red again. I think that will really set it off transparency it goes from 0 to 100 I'm gonna put it at like 75 um, you can choose to put a logout message here but I'm just gonna use the default one it comes with this easy um, error message we'll use the same colors the black text mm. we'll use a little bit darker red on that so people know they did something wrong and then the border color will use the same dark red and then we'll uh, same transparency 75 you can choose to add an error message if you want I'm just gonna use the default one it comes with and then your input fields you wanna 
choose a color for that. I'm going to use the dark red. The background color, border color. Okay. And for the background color of the actual inputs, I'm going to do a light gray. In the border, uh, we can do the dark red. And save changes. And then click back over and refresh. Okay, that's really nice. Look at that. So when people are typing in, it's nice and red. You got the the red border on the inputs. And when you type in your password, it pops up red. That's really cool looking. Your notification box is the color you made it. Now we just gotta customize these bottom links here. Scroll back and hit links. And you can choose the text color. Let's see what color we want. White or black? We'll just go with black. And you can choose the shadowing and uh, the gradiency or whatever of all this stuff. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to change the color to black and save it and refresh this page. Okay, so by default, it's already a red hover color. So that's good. It looks really good just like that. So that's basically how you um, make a custom login form with the A5 um, login plugin. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be making a lot more videos teaching you how to add a uh, custom login, logout, registration button to your menu bars. So when people are logged in, um, the only button that will appear is the logout button. So when they click log out, the log out button will disappear and it'll just say log in or register. Um, by default, WordPress themes don't come with that option. That's, uh, it has something to do with PHP coding and stuff like that. So I know for a lot of people that aren't tech savvy, they don't really understand that. But uh, there are plugins to meet your needs on this kind of stuff. And I will be uh, revealing a lot more um, free plugins you can use to customize your WordPress site and make it look very professional. Um, if you guys want to support me in any way, if you like these videos, uh, the best way to do that is just by leaving a comment at the bottom of the post. Ask questions. Um, if you have any plugins that you prefer to use for this option, go ahead and uh, post them down there and I'll take a look at them. I'm always interested in looking at new plugins. I love them. I'm, I'm a <laughs> WordPress enthusiast, that's for sure. And uh, uh, be sure to share this with your friends and family. And if you want to, you can like my homepage and my website. And uh, I will be having another, another, another video coming out very soon that will talk about the custom logins and also uh, your login redirect link to tell you which website you want the subscriber to go to after they've logged in. Okay, take care.